from the studio that dominated the early 90s with The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, and Aladdin, comes an absolute stinker that kicked off more than a decade of garbage. Pocahontas. Meet Pocahontas, a product of Disney's underage thirst trap era. She's a princess based on a real 12-year-old sex trafficking victim. Transformed into a dryland version of Ariel. I expect those rules to be obeyed. You disobeyed me. Daddy, I love him. I love him, Father. In this all-leg adventure that's just the Little Mermaid without the catchy songs, sense of fun, or knowledge that they're all about to die from war, famine, and disease. But, uh, look over there. Pretty waterfalls. When you need an Australian to play an Englishman who sounds like an American to patronize an Indian, you call Mel Gibson. We've improved the lives of savages all over the world. Savages? He'll play John Smith, a guy as bland as the name John Smith would imply. I'm John Smith. Watch this explorer discover he has so much in common with Pocahontas. They're both hot. Their eyebrows don't match their hair color. And that's it. As these two characters, as thin and two-dimensional as the cells they were painted on, find love during the time of colonization, a big goof up with plenty of good people on both sides. Once two sides want to fight, nothing can stop them. In fact, the English would be friendly if it wasn't for one bad apple. In this historical epic that teaches us all, the real colonizer was love all along. London, is that your village? Yes, buildings as tall as trees. I'd like to see those things. See there, she didn't have to be kidnapped back to London. Who said anything about her being kidnapped? If I don't look it up, it's like it never happened. When you're not stuck wasting time with Pocahontas, enjoy your time with equally boring side characters like three animal sidekicks more bumbling than Bob Chapek. <laughs> A talking tree that's a little too thorned up for comfort. I want to see him again. I want to see him again. And he's handsome, too. And a bunch of English explorers who unfortunately weren't lost at sea in the opening scene. Not a thousand bloodthirsty savages shall stand in our way. If any Indian tries to stop me, I'll blast him. Savages could be hiding anywhere. Do you think we'll meet some savages? These white men are dangerous. So this Thanksgiving, Revisit an animated musical whose songs range from forgettable mine, mine, mine for the taking. to regrettable Kill ourselves an engine. or maybe two or three. Except for one absolute jam about how indigenous folks are mythical beings with magical powers instead of actual people who still exist. You think my tribe are ordinary people and claim a land you think you can explain. But we are all imbued with superpowers. We know magic, we are druids, I'm a mage. I'm basically an X-Man or Avenger. The heron and the otter I command. And if you cross me, John, you will discover I can walk into this bird that's on my hand And they'll never hear your voice cry Will the end come soon When I dish out the payback for your skins I could blow you from this Lion King as mountain I control the ancient forces of the wind If you cross me then I will Grind your bones to dust until in the wind. Starring The Maze Runner, Porta John, 90 Day Financier, Trash Bandicoot, Colonial American Psycho, Mr. Smee, Chief of Staff, It's Giving, Tree, Wizards of the Coast, and exactly what TLC warned us not to do, Love at First White.
Going back is his only chance. He'll die if he stays here. So it ends with John heading back to England to treat his gunshot wound. By boat? Is anyone gonna tell him? I am vengeance. I am the night. I am Batman. Thanks for the handkerchief, Arthur. I have one power. I never give up. I know I made a promise, but I didn't see this coming. I didn't count on being happy.